Hi. So, if you are interested in word games or anagramming, then the resource I'm about to share with you today is it is going to rock your world because there just isn't anything as good on the internet as this if you're interested in anagrams, word games, etc. This is just the best. If you're a Scrabble player, no doubt you're already familiar with this site, the Internet Scrabble Club. Um, and this is a brilliant site, but even this is no match for what I'm about to show you, really. This is the ultimate word game site on the internet. There's nothing better than this. So let's get right to it. Um, you may already know the TV show. Channel 4's flagship quiz show, uh, Countdown. It's on daily, Monday to Friday. Um, and it consists of 30 second rounds with nine letter scrambles and you've got to find the longest word you can within the 30 seconds there are also numbers rounds as well where you get a simple arithmetic puzzle to solve within 30 seconds and then the final round is your conundrum where all nine letters will make uh, one word that you have to solve and try and on that that's on the buzzer where you have to try and buzz in before your opponent gets it um okay so most of you already knew that now, intuitively, you would think that if you were to search for Play Countdown Online, that search should get it for you. And you'll see plenty of things coming up like this incoherency site, Happysoft and so on. But actually, that's not the way to find this. What you're going to have to do is include the word Apterus. And then you'll get straight to it. But without that word, this is a really hard website to find. It's not um, very well publicized. I'm not sure why that is. But anyway, if you search Play Countdown Apterus, so that word Apterus, A-P-T-E-R-O-U-S, then you get straight to it. First search result is the one you want. Apterus.org. This is the site. This is the site for word games online. So um, you'll see, there it is now. There's the logo. The logo is uh, a flightless insect because that's pretty much what Aptris means. So you want to register an account. Go over here on the left-hand side, you see register. Um, put in your email address. So this one will do. And then put a username. Now I'm not gonna use my own name because I already have an account here. Um, so I'll use something different. We'll go for Loylich McGraw, why not? Loylich McGraw. Uh, date of birth, we'll go for the 7th of the 7th, 77. Sounds like a plan. Where's 77? There we are. And then you got to put in your pronouns. And look, they've gotten trendy with the gender neutral put in there and everything. Um, your location, Ireland. Um, this is not too important, but I'll put it in anyway. Ireland, there it is, and then a password. And then again, for just to be sure. And sign up without further delay, see what happens. So yeah, there you go. So that's that, that's as simple as that. You are now a member of aptris.org. Um, obviously, you need to be careful when you're picking your username. If you pick the name of a past contestant, it's probably not going to work. You're better off picking your own name or something fairly unique if your own name is already taken. So head over to the emails uh, to activate your account. You'll see one here. Welcome to Actress Loilich. Um, all right. Click, click here to confirm. Confirmed. So now I can log in as Lloyd McGraw. So log in. There we go. I'm not interested in that. So the first thing you'll see is a tutorial saying welcome. Oh, glossary of terms. Yeah, this tutorial really, really isn't great. Um, it just gives a few 
of the standard terms that are used. That's about it. That's all that's there for now. So you're better off the exit tutorial. So now you're in you're in Aptris. There you go. Um, you can see over here your name is there. If you were to click on your name, that would lead to your personal page that has all your the list of your recently played games and all, all, every stat you could want will be listed underneath that. Your glory roll has some more stats on it. Um, here you can see discussions, what people are talking about on the website right now. Sometimes it's requests for new features or um, a bug report or whatever it might be, or a dictionary update. Over here are the news announcements, um, showing you all the latest developments of what games have been nominated for game of the week or whatever it is, um, or what the latest pro ranks are, who's uh, considered the best player on the site these days. Um, then you have some tournaments here that you could sign up for. But what you really want is this pink button over here, this play button. If you click on this play button, it brings you into the game room. So there you go. So the only other person here is Liam O. He's playing a game at the moment against Aptris Prune, one of the robots. And um, there you are, you're new. Um, you'll notice that there's a rating. Um, you're currently new, so you'll have no rating, but your rating is a provisional 1,433. Um, <clears throat> if you were to actually achieve that rating, that would be really good. That would be a good enough rating that if you went on telly, you might win your series. Like that would be a very good rating if you had that. Um, if you can get over a thousand, that's decent. The absolute top flight players have ratings of around 2000 or more, um, but that's a very elite club. Um, then as a trial member, you have 30 trial games. After that, you can choose whether to subscribe or not. So, that is how to find and sign up for the best, the absolute best word game website that there is. Um, you can play this on the phone, just like you can play the, the Internet Scrabble Club on the phone as well, but that's not really the best way to do it. You're best off to play it on a desktop. Okay, so that's it. Welcome to Aptris. The fun begins here. Now that you're signed up, the obvious next step is to try out a game. So my next video, and I'm gonna put a link up here somewhere to that video, will go through step-by-step step how to work it. Um, it's straightforward enough. The letters rounds especially are simple to get the hang of, but the numbers are quite difficult. It takes a while to get used to it. So um, yeah, that video will probably be quite helpful to you. So you should probably have a look before you have your first game if you want to have a higher chance of doing everything correctly in your first game so you have a chance of winning it, which very few newbies do.